Why, hello there. Welcome to the, uh, the first, wait, no, second episode <laughs> of Weapons Only. Uh, today, we're doing, well, a few things. Um, honestly, mostly, we're just talking about things. So, firstly, I want to thank everyone for your support. The first episode of Weapons Only did much better than I expected, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I was a little bit pessimistic that it was even going to do well at all, and it, it exceeded all expectations, to say the least. So thank you, uh, everyone who watched it. Thank you for everyone who is still watching. If you're watching this video, of course, we're going to do our dailies while I talk about some stuff here. Um, and yeah, thank you for all the feedback. Uh, you know, I asked for feedback and good lordy, uh, there was a lot of feedback. Uh, and don't worry, we'll get on to talking about the character thing shortly here. I, I hate all the early characters that have absurd jiggle physics. I'm sorry to those that like the jiggle physics. I hate it. Anyways, um... Let's not get distracted. I have a bad track of getting distracted when I need to talk about things. Um, so yes, thank you for the feedback. Thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who's watching. Um, hopefully we'll still watch and hopefully I can keep it interesting as time goes on. Um, secondly, real quick, hopefully, uh, so some people, not many people, but uh, as I've you know, streamed and whatever people have noticed, you know, some mic issues that I've had. Uh, mostly a little buzzing sound. That should hopefully be fixed now. I have a little bit different mic setup going on. Um, that hopefully it's fixed. Yeah, that's all there is about it. Let me know if it sounds better or the same or whatever. I don't know. You might not have noticed it because it was relatively subtle. But it should be gone now, hopefully. Um, and hopefully I still sound most of the same. Because I know a lot of people mostly only care about me for my voice. Uh, how do we deal with this muffle? Set his shield on fire, I suppose. Alright, Amber, do your thing. Um, so, uh, since the last episode, we, uh, no haven't done a lot. Uh, as you can see, we, of course, have unlocked dailies, which I think was at, like, AR-14 or something. And reinforcements? Oh, no. Now, uh, AR, uh, we're at AR-15 now, uh, which the important thing about that is we can, uh, ascend our characters. Yay. Um, which is mostly relevant because we can make more wishes, right? No, it's also relevant just because our characters get stronger, of course. But, yes, we are at AR-15 now, uh, which is nice. Yep, AR-15. And today's goal is to, for this episode, is to grind. Um, wind Trace, I don't think I have the even, yeah, it's not even in here. But uh, the Wind Trace event requires AR-20. Um, and getting Zhongling Barbara also requires AR-20 in the Spiral Abyss. So... My goal is to grind for AR-20 today. Um, how long that will take, I, I don't know. I hope it's not five hours. <laughs> but basically, I'm just going to do a bunch of quests. It's For, for you, I'm probably going to cut out 90% of the footage. It's just going to be spending hours playing this game. Playing through the same things I've already played through on two other accounts. Yay. Yay for not having a skip dialogue option. Um, so we'll see how long that takes. Anyways, before we uh, before we bother with that, um, I want to talk about characters. So, after uh, basically after the feedback, um, uh, after all the feedback you guys gave me, and after thinking it through myself, realized that you know not allowing anything other than the free characters is not ideal, and that's primarily for a pretty simple realization, which is that. You know, it'd be really lame, for example, um, well, this banner is a bad example because the weapons, either of these weapons would be good, but it'd be pretty lame, let's say in the future, um, like Nahida's weapon, right? Um, as the characters we currently have available, if I limit myself to free characters, which is currently, uh, you know, the characters we got, you know, it was Chong Yun and Noel from the beginner banner, and then any free, or, uh, free event characters in the future, as well as, you know, Zhang Ling, uh, Kali from the Abyss, and Barbara, um, those character limitations would make it so, like, why would we ever pull for Nahida's weapon, right? Because, like, I guess Lisa could use it. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, like, on Bloom Nisa Lisa. So maybe it's a bad example, right? But there's more examples. There's, a, actually, there, there's Aqua Simulacra, Yelan's weapon. Um, not that, like, Amber couldn't use it. Like, it would be fun to do DPS Amber. But I don't know if she's the best user for it. But you know who is a good user for it? Someone like Fischl. Fischl, who was in, you know, the... Whoops. Uh, officials in the shop this month, right? We could realistically acquire official. 
um, is a great user for Aqua Slammy Lacra. The, the general idea, right, of the account is the, the focus to be on the weapons. The focus is to show off weapons and how strong they can make, you know, maybe less appreciated characters. So, you know, that would include, of course, testing Aqua Slammy Lacra on Amber. Um, but it's also just to test the strengths of the weapons and, you know, yada yada. You get the point. We're wishing only on weapon banner regardless. Alright, okay, 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 okay. There we go. Finally, mage is dead. Well, it didn't really take that long, but anyways. Um, now, I, I did a poll on YouTube, and there's a chance you might have seen it. Uh, I basically described some different options for what we can do for allowing new characters. Because I realized we kind of have to be able to have access to new characters so we can avoid a situation in the future of just like, like if in the long term, let's say, I don't know, six months, maybe longer than that from now, the account would have more five-star weapons than we have characters to put them on, potentially. That would be boring. Um, it, right? Like, like that would be, that, at that point, it's just like, then we're just swapping around and like, to be able to make use of five-star weapons, we have to be able to get some amount of new characters. I, ideally, other than the ones that are just free, because, you know, then we're at the whims of Mahoyo, which is giving us a character that's potentially useless for us, right? Um, so I want to have some ability to choose new characters. And that's what the poll was for. So I posed a few different options. And uh, the first option was... Well, I'll, I'll, so I'll show it on screen here. The, the first option was basically to make it milestone-based. Uh, and this one, honestly, was my, my general favorite because it essentially just ties getting new characters and new weapons. So say we get Nahida's weapon, then that will, like, once I get Nahida's weapon, I can say, yeah, now I'm allowed to get Sucrose. Right. So it's a milestone-based one. Um, I think that one is probably the best for, like, balancing the challenge and focusing it on the weapons while not, you know, and not risking taking the focus away from the weapons by just building all the overpowered four-star characters. Um, but, uh, it's kind of boring as far as like RNG goes because it that that option essentially means other than when I get extra five stars that allow me to choose an additional character, we're not gonna have any new characters to do anything new with until that point. Um, so that's not necessarily the best option. It has its downside, right? It means that we, there's not much exciting excitement from getting characters in the weapon banner. Uh, the other two options, uh, one was just you know, only use beginner, the launch characters, which is like all the characters that are on the beginner banner. Um, so that includes all the overpowered supports, basically. Um, that one we're not going to go with. I've already decided that. And the third option is the most fun one as far as polls go, in my opinion, uh, where if we get characters from the weapon banner, we have to get multiples of them to be able to be allowed to use them. And I originally put in the poll like C2 or C3, um, but based on the fact that 70% of you guys voted to allow any weapon banner characters um i think what i'm gonna go with is a compromise um so 70 percent of you just say use all the weapon banner characters it's fate the weapon banner gave it to us after all right i mean like i i don't disagree with that logic but again my worry is like the weapon banner gives us bennett and then you know then it's just this is a bennett account <laughs> right so i think for now I'm going to keep it simple. I I'm, I don't want to do something overly restrictive like Constellation 3, like I mentioned in the poll, because Constellation 3 could take literally forever, right? We're never guaranteed to get any particular four-star from this banner. It could literally take six months to get a single C3 character. So I think I'm going to put it at C1. We have to get C1 of a character before we can use them. Um, I might change this rule, though, because honestly, when it comes down to it, to make content, to make things that are entertaining, to see progress in the account. Um, if we get a new weapon, you know, I might say, you know what? We got Nahida's weapon. That justifies allowing myself to use Sucrose. So I might do a mix and match of like milestone based and constellation based. But I like the constellation based one because it's essentially the same as option four, just slightly more restrictive, right? Um, hopefully you all are fine with the compromise. If you're not, I don't know, scream very loudly in the comments, in the comments and then I'll ignore you. No, uh, I won't ignore you. I, I spend too much time responding to people in comments, honestly. Anywho, yeah, I don't know, hopefully everyone's fine with that. Because I think it's a good middle ground, right? So, like, I used Fischl as an example earlier. That means I can, we could potentially say, buy Fischl from the shop this month. Wouldn't be allowed to use Fischl, 
but we could buy official from the shop this month. Although the downside is we might want to buy like a black cliff weapon instead. But I don't. I think the black cliff weapons are probably not that relevant, particularly long term, because we'll we'll have five star weapons, right? We're wishing only on weapon banner. Hopefully, we'll we'll accrue a decent number of five star weapons. Um, so getting official would be really nice, right? Uh, just having another bow character, and then uh, of course all we need at that point is one official from the banner and that's c1 official that's what i'm basically thinking uh for any characters of course that aren't in the star glitter shop or we don't get for free um through events it would require getting c1 of them just through banner luck which could take a while you know it's very possible we just you know never get a, a c1 candace or something but oh well at least it makes the rng kind of fun without just making the rng suddenly give us something that completely changes the account, right? I want to... I, it, it, I think it makes it more exciting than less exciting, personally. But if you disagree, let me know. I personally think requiring C1 is the good middle ground for allowing new characters. If C1 is... If it, if it turns out C1 is too little, though, I might actually make it C2, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to you know, use my content creator privilege and the account owner privilege to say I can change the dang rules when I feel like it. But the general rules is, is right. We want to keep the focus on the weapons, but we also want to be able to have characters to use said weapons on. That's kind of all it comes down to. So if I feel it's necessary to be able to do something fun in an account, you know, to show off a new weapon, if I have the idea of using this weapon to do something fun with X character, I might just use X character and build them because it's fun to do for a video. That's kind of what it comes down to. And I hope everyone can agree with that. Because um, I think that's kind of the, the important bit. is It's about doing fun things and showing off things that aren't typical on a normal account. Is the I general idea. Anyways, I think I've rambled on enough. This is probably half of the video at this point. So... Uh, let's go ascend our characters since we're at AR-15. Uh, I only did two commissions in 10 minutes. Wow, I'm a, I'm a speedrunner. Um, I only did two commissions, so oh well. well. We'll do those in a second. Let's go claim our adventure rank awards, and then I'm going to ascend our characters so we can get a few standard wishes, and we can do uh, our first 10 poll on the standard banner. I did technically do one one single poll on the standard banner. Uh, oh, we unlock co-op next. Woo -hoo. Exciting. Uh, but that, that single pull was maybe the most exciting pull in history. It was a cool steal. Wow. So I apologize to those that missed that single pull that I did live. You didn't miss much. Uh, we have not wished any more since the first episode on the weapon banner. I'm saving until we can do ten pulls because they're more exciting. That's all. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I should go claim my expeditions and then we'll send our characters. So I'm going to skip forward to me doing that. Okay, already. Ascend the Traveler. Bam. Hopefully I have most of the materials to do this. I didn't really check. Um, claim my wish. I don't know how many level up materials. I no, Not many. Okay, so I'm not going to level up everyone to level 40 right away. That's for sure. Of course, I need one more piece of freaking lamp grass for, for uh, Amber here. And, okay, all right then. Well, what about you, Kaya? Good, we can do Kaya. Hmm. There we go. There's Kaya. Cannot do Noel either. All right, we need all the Valberries. Uh, and what about Chung Yun? We cannot do Chung Yun either. Great, brilliant. All right. Um, Chung Yun is going to be the most annoying one, but I can do. I'm going to get the materials for Noel, as well as Lisa and Amber, real quick. How many sigils do I have? Wow, apparently a lot. I just got these through like random exploration during doing dailies and whatever. Yeah, we'll buy, buy, ooh, no, we're not going to buy all of these because I don't think I have enough. All right, we're just going to buy, like, two of each. Oh, I don't... <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe I should, I should, I shouldn't, you know, shame people for, anyone for liking the sound of Lisa's climbing, you know. <laughs> but, um, I don't like it. No, climb, dude. Bro, can you climb up the... Okay, you know what? The, the definition of sanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So, let's try this spot. Alright, there we go. Finally, that took far too long. Alright, there's some Valberries. 
Alright, lamp grass acquired. Brilliant. Okay, ascend amber. Yay. Yeah, as fast no offense, Amber, I don't feel like listening to your ascension lines right now. I can do that whenever I feel. And when I feel is not now. Surely. Okay, there's Lisa Dawn and finally Noel. We'll do Chong Yun, don't worry, I'm not neglecting Chong Yun. Um I, I just don't feel like running to Liyue for uh for Core Lapis. So yeah. You'll you'll it'll just take some time. Don't worry about it. Alright, there we go. Wishes acquired. We have eleven standard wishes. Wonderful. Alright. It's time to do our first ten pull on the standard banner. Let's go. No five star. Sad. We want weapons. Which is weird. <laughs> Especially for a new account. <laughs> it's all we want. Weapons. I mean, you know, we again, four star characters can go towards constellations. So. We're not allowing... I, I forgot to mention, no, we're not allowing five star characters uh, from the standard banner. What do we get? Toma. All right. I'll be honest, C0 Toma. My experience with C0 Toma on my main account, or main account, on my Polarm account, it's not very positive. So not being able to use Toma is not that bad. No offense, Toma, you're, but your C0 kit is kind of bad. Uh, anyways, we can buy these. Oh, of course, can't even buy the last one yet. That's annoying. Um... We need to do like six more wishes to be able to do that. Okay, great. Whatever. Uh, yep. We need not much more. 960. All right. You know what? Well, at least we, I should be able to do another 10 pull on the uh, event banner today. So that's exciting, I suppose. Toma is definitely not a very exciting first standard four star, though. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, no offense to Toma. Toma is useful on my Polarm account. But I, he definitely doesn't make me sad about setting the rule for, you know, <laughs> only <laughs> only the constellations thanks to the weapon banner, right? So, um, I am, oh, I guess there is an important distinction to make here since we are wishing on the standard banner for, like, I could just not wish on the standard banner at all, but I'm going to because missing out on potential weapons from the standard banner would be kind of lame. Um, not to mention there's potentially like Favonius sacrificial weapons we can get from standard banner as well. So we're going to wish on the standard banner. Um, for characters, uh, I will count constellations that we get towards uh, allowance for using those characters, in my opinion. But um, we have to acquire at least one copy of the character from the weapon banner, is what I think the reasoning will be. So we cannot use Toma until we get a copy of Toma from the weapon banner, right? So, pretty simple, I think. Uh, Toma could be useful to us, by the way, if we get a constellation of him on the weapon banner as just a generic shielder, but I've already built Toma on my Polarm account. I, I don't necessarily need another copy here. If you want to see Toma, go check out my... Um, I had a video that basically no one viewed where I, I had to solo for like 10 minutes straight fighting a ruin guard with Toma uh, in, in the maze event. Go check out that video or something. I don't know. Alrighty, there we go. There's commissions done for the day. So, now my plan, we're almost at AR-16. That's nice. Now my plan is to just try to get to AR-20 today because if we can get to AR-20, I can start doing at least the basic events that unlock. Um, I have no idea if that's realistically doable, but we'll see. Uh, yay. Uh, most of that footage will be cut out for you. Hey, there's AR-16. Domain of Forgery unlocked. Alright, cool. And co-op unlocked. Wonderful. You know, with having weapon domains unlocked now, I just had the realization. Since we're doing weapons only, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time in some of these weapon domains. I am not looking forward to having to spend a lot of time in this one in particular. This is a miserable domain. Here we go. The first weapon ascension on... Oh, never mind. Alright, please drop three. Yay, thank you. 
Got a bunch of weapons for some reason. All right, there we go. The first weapon ascension on weapons only. Prototype Rancor is not, you know, the best weapon in the world, but it's useful for early game, that's for sure. Because you tend to do a lot of physical damage and whacking. The second ascension on weapons only. Beautiful. Oh, okay. I didn't realize just walking up here completed the quest. Yay, AR-17. It took me an hour to get to AR-17. That's not a good sign for getting to AR-20. <laughs> you know, this sneaking section in the game for stealing the liar is maybe one of the dumbest sections in the game. Not because of the sneaking mechanics or anything, but just because, like, look how many freaking guards are here. Like, each one of these people presumably is paid, like, a living salary to just, like, sit in the basement of the church all all night? Like, what in the world? Like, why would there actually be this many people here? It's nonsensical. Look at that. It's technically our first five-star weapon. Just, we don't get to keep it. <laughs> Wolf's Gravestone. No, are you serious? <laughs> Webby on the ledge. Just grab on Gaia, dang it. Ugh. Yay, AR-18. have recently proclaimed you person Yay, AR-19. That's what I was supposed to do, but sure. So number one done. And there's sail no sail. Seal number two. And there is seal number three. It's finally time time. It's finally time to fight Mr. Devalin. Now we can fight Devalin on Alrighty, Devalin time, finally. <laughs> No, we're not going to use Venti, because Venti's not a weapon. Teeth and claws are still Don't very question dangerous. the logic. I mean, he does use a five-star weapon, but... You know, a five-star weapon will hopefully... Ah! I should be paying attention. A five-star weapon will hopefully have someday, but... Um... Today is not that day. You're in for a little shot. What? There we go. I'm not going to go. Aim for the tainted blood clot right. on his neck. Let's do the traveler combo. Lisa, go. Too much. Cool it. This will be frozen in time. Oh, can we eat one cycle? Let's do it. Let's one cycle it. Bam. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we're very close to AR-20. Um, I'm gonna finish up with the closing, the, the ending up bits, uh, whatever, epilogue bits, I suppose, of the uh, Mondstadt story. Oh, we just got a Favonius Warbow. I totally forgot you got that here. Uh, that is awesome, actually. Favonius weapons are, in, in many senses, potentially more important than some of the five-star weapons, so, <laughs> and no, I am, I am not joking. If you think Favonius weapons are not more important than certain five-star weapons, you're just wrong, <laughs> as, as far as the combat of this game goes, at least. Uh, so that's a really nice kit. Sweet. I'll put it on Amber, because why not? <laughs> oh. Barbara. Hey, look at that. We can claim Barbara, our seventh character. Yay. We reached AR-20. We unlocked the battle pass. I forgot about the battle pass for some reason. Unlocking all the things. Spiral Abyss. Yay. <laughs> And, oh, okay, thank you for telling me the card game unlocks in AR-32. Yeah, okay. Thanks, game. <laughs> Don't understand why I decided to tell me that now. Yeah, you literally just showed me this game. Thank you. <laughs> okay. World level one. Yay, I forgot it even started at world level zero. <laughs> That's funny. Alrighty. All right, there we go. I have Wind Trace unlocked. That's nice. So there's only a day and 23 hours left, so that means I'm going to be 
playing Wind Trace for a couple hours tomorrow, but that's fine. Let's do a ten pull to end off the video. No fire storm. Dang it. Where's my where's my weapon banner left? I normally get early fires in the weapon banner. I think the game is trolling me. No, I'm joking. I'm not really expecting any early five stars. I do want, like, a, I was going to say, a, a Favonius Lance or something. The Moon's Moon, I think, is a strictly meh weapon, to say the least. Um, how is this new? Apparently this was our first three-star affair of Shadow. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a certifiably, I think, okay weapon. I can't say there's anyone in specific we're going to use it on, but we'll take it. It's more options as far as I'm concerned. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess thanks for watching. That's the episode. Uh, next episode, we will acquire our last two free characters, uh, other than event characters in the Spiral Abyss, I think is the plan. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Comment your thoughts, whatever. Subscribe if you want. Like if you want. If you don't, that's fine too, I suppose. Thank you, and goodbye.